Hello everyone. Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios here, and I'm going to shut that up a little bit. This is the Red 7 Leviathan, and it is an absolute monster. This is a very special version that has been made for John Brown from Monuments and Riff Hard specifically. Uh, this is really cool. It's got a voltmeter that works, a clock that actually works. It's full steampunk, but that is not the uh, the point of the sound of it. The sound of it is an absolute monster. This is a two channel amp that's all KT88s, which means that no matter how hard you dig in, it will not squish, it will not give up, it will not buckle under the weight of your heavy metal. And uh, yeah, it's an absolute beast. Uh, underneath we have some pedals. I've got a tuner, uh, an EQ, a boost and a gate, but the EQ and the boost are completely off. And what we've discovered is we do not need it. So this is channel one. I'm using uh, John's PRS SE Custom with P90s for a change. Uh, if you look on John Brown's own channel, he's used his minor six and seven string signature models, which are much more high gain naturally than this guitar is. So this thing has much more of a, uh, not a clean tone, but it's got more of a bite and a bark and less of that chug thing to begin with. This is on channel one with everything just straight. Uh, on the bridge pickup. Sounds pretty good, quite raw. There is a bright switch if we need more top end, which I don't think this guitar does, but it's there. And then of course we've got plenty of EQ to go with. Uh, this uh, guitar again is quite bright, so I don't need much more treble. Uh, let's take some mids out and more bass, and let's see how that goes. <laughs> And this amp also has presence and depth knobs on the back. The presence is relatively high at the moment because of course in modern metal that's the kind of sound we like. Depth is also quite high. We're using a Zilla 2x12 uh, which needs a little bit of a depth boost sometimes. And that's got the Extinct Audio Black Ops Ribbon, uh, a Lewitt Audio 640 TS mic with the padding gauge because this is loud, and the uh, MTP 440 Dynamic. So between them we get the best of all worlds and it sounds huge. When I press the hot button, oh look, noise! <laughs> and then suddenly it sounds much louder. This is still channel one. Nice. Of course the 14 Zool is really helping this not squeal like a, like a pig because P90s, they can do that. But let's check out channel two. This, the bright switch is currently off. Uh, let's keep everything at noon. This is a thicker channel, but it's still kind of ready to go. Still no boost, listen to this. <laughs> Very, very nice indeed. Now, if I was to add the boost onto this, that would probably get too uh, spanky because it's quite a bright 
pick up but if I add some bass take away a little middle uh, in fact let's add the bright switch and take some treble away how does that sound <laughs> Sounds pretty beefy. If I start adding gain, most amps will start to sound really flubby without a boost at this point and will really kind of lose all the definition. I don't think this will. Let's try it. The gain is now on about, well, seven. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you will know I'm a big fan of Tool and a lot of that kind of stuff. This amp, usually the guys in Tool use three amps in combination, cleaner one, heavier one, and somewhere in the middle. This kind of does that tone without needing to triple up. Uh, so yeah, if I back the game down a little, yeah, this is that definite kind of Tool sound, even with P90s. <laughs> Very, very nice. I've, I've had to do, like I say, nothing with pedals. And another little bonus that I've found with this amp is that on this channel, even with P90s, the lead sound is thick, but not just It is quite gainy and having this door open here so I can hear the cab, it's feeding back like you wouldn't believe, but of course it is. That's why when you do solos you tend to sit in the control room. But, that sound is fantastic. So, yeah, big thanks to John for letting me uh, play with his Red 7. Uh, big thanks to the guys at Red 7 for making this happen because it's a fantastic amp. And yeah, links are down below in the description for where you can get one yourself. And all the pedals, uh, the guitar, all that kind of stuff in the description. Thanks everybody and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, that might be the end of the video, but if you fancy carrying on this conversation, we have a Discord server, link is in the description. We're also on Patreon, which is something you can really help us with. We also are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hot Pole Studios. See you there.